lights. But this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be an interesting night. Here we go. Well, that's unpleasant. More archers. Dang. Just just archers all the way. No elite corpses hurts particularly much, I will say. Hi. Hi, hello, how you doing? Of all the things, how can a bow have less range than a, than a tome? I mean, I get that the tome is magical and all, but it seems like... Seems a little rough. Oh, and hoppers are coming in and immediately poisoning us. fan friggin tastic all right. Of all the ones that we could be leaving, I'm not psyched that it's a ranger. Um, I think we have to flee a bit, at least temporarily. Uh, in Lustrous, I don't, I don't buy this, uh, this narrative that, that it, it is somehow, uh, a good idea not to still. I don't, like, we're gonna have a hard time avoiding this, uh, this ranger, and he's just gonna be, uh, a huge pain in the butt, I think. But I'm, I'm going to leave the back further once. We're going to try it out. Or I'm going to leave the back one for now. Just because I don't think we have the mobility to do anything else with it. Um, This thing is going to be really annoying to deal with, I, I want to also note. Because your, your range is four. One, two, three, four. All right, we can probably go a little less. So one, two, three, four. We can also get close to them, and that can be our our plan, but.
The accuracy is also slightly pain. Alright, we're not getting through his armor. Okay. I also think that the archers are going to take out the, the corpse piles before they get a chance to, uh, to actually burst on anyone either, which is an irony. So the problem, the problem that we face here, and I may... Is this a guaranteed kill on you? It's a maybe kill on you. Alright, so we only get one hit here. Because I may need two to go over here. Alright. I went to the website to see these new builds, and I must say it's a choice to have them rescale to match how much your zoom. Uh, it does bring the problem that I can't zoom in to see what's better. Yeah, the dud. That's a that's a good that's a good call out. Um, I've I've been trying to figure out how to do both. Um, the the problem the problem being that it's very hard to make it work on like mobile and things like that. Like that's the that's the reason that I went with that approach. Um, but I I do recognize that it is not without its own issues. And I hear you. The it's it's just hard because like how do I how do I set a size and then allow you to be able to do it? I may be able to do something like right now. I just had to base it off of the window size. Maybe I could make it not uh, not do that. Or I was thinking I could also potentially do something with like a manual zoom. But it's a work in progress. Too many damn archers right now. An elite hopper is also super annoying. Overextended over here, and I am I am filled with some regret for it. I'm running out of space to run away from this guy is always slightly alarming. That gets me shot. So you guys here. One, two, three, four. So the further, well, I should use my last attack to get rid of the hopper. I'm worried that I'm gonna need the health potions over here because I, I went kind of hard with our lawnmower, unfortunately. Oh my freaking word. Are we just at zero accuracy? Yeah, we're at zero accuracy. Okay. I am worried for the safety of my uh, of my opportunist. Okay, they, they did all right.
For only being 85 enemies left on the board, this is a crap ton of enemies, it feels like. Getting rid of this guy is probably the most reasonable plan. Just managed to get 500 armor in one round with a character with Heart of the Party. Heart of the Party is pretty awesome, isn't it, Sam? Quite, quite the standout ability, for sure. Just wanted, I wanted to remove some of those. I hope that I got far enough away from this guy. Looks like I did. I am, I'm struggling with how we are ever gonna kill this elite or that elite. I think the only answer is, uh, is daggers. Okay, that, that is enough that it will eventually get the kill. We, uh, did we just win the Elite Lottery, or is this knight always uh, this impressive? I do think to... We're going to need someone else to come help over here also. You not getting an attack in is fine. All right. So this guy is now power shotting our walls in Lustrous. I look at you with a. Uh, I look at you with disdain as I say this. I wish we had one more mana. I really do. Just need more AP for our lawnmower. But our lawnmower is, is doing a good job mowing lawns, I will say. And then the question is, if I... One... Hold on. From here. One, two, three, four. So I can't move my maximum distance. I'll move like this, because I'm going to need to start coming up to support this, I think. that these these runners are just gonna get into into the the thick of things which is not great oh you just couldn't you couldn't just go couldn't just die could you I think I do this because it eh, that might not have been a play and then We got one more attack. This is this is going to become a problem spot for sure. But I'm really worried that this guy is going to kill this barricade and this guy is going to run on through this next turn, which is less of a fear and, and more of, I think, a guarantee. I actually think I need to... 
If I want to avoid getting poisoned, I need to focus this guy down. The elites really, really got my goat pretty good here, if I'm being honest. Hey, thank you so much for the follow, Rake. Appreciate you. I don't know if I want to... Can I still jump over if I do this? Yeah, I can. Okay. We'll do that, and then you... Last action. Stun percentage is probably pretty unlikely to, to pan out. So let's boop you. Someone's got to plug up that, that spot. And then also, this is getting very spicy as well. A little worried about how many archers we have going on over here. I'm just, I'm clearing the stuff that I can because I know we're not going to get that far. This guy, it looks like, is going to run to there. Oof, these two, these two, though, can I get shots off on them? All right, I can. Oh, my gosh, that was horrifically bad. That was, that was otherworldly awful. Um... So if I remove three movement points from this guy, he, one, two, three, he ends up there. Okay, I think we do toss a, a snare here. And then we do that, and then this is all gonna have to get taken care of by Uthrid, which makes me a little nervous, but I think we need to come over here and This is our, our best course of action right now, is just to get them doing less damage. Okay, and then it is sad that we don't have more actions for you, but that's life. I really didn't want to get poisoned here. I was, I was specifically trying to avoid it, but... I just want to say, nothing Nothing about this feels great. Like, leaving this guy up does not feel like I'm like, wow, I made such a good decision. Kind of feels like the opposite. I actually don't want to kill this guy. Oh, I have no movement now. Oh, okay. Let's just armor up, because I think I'm about to get wailed on pretty hard. We're literally just body blocking this guy. I think that's the best we can do. And I do think just continuing to debuff these guys is probably the best plan. Body locking over here kind of stinks. Um, but I'm not, I'm not sure we have a better option.
And Lustrous, you owe me some walls, I just want to say. You can deliver them to my P.O. box. Which does not exist, by the way. I do not have a P.O. box. I think we can play a little bit of Ring Around the Rosie here, potentially. Is it just me or do these elites kind of suck? They seem super annoying at the moment. Didn't get through. That's unfortunate. I think we'll probably still get the item, but it's not, it's no guarantee. We needed four AP to do this, so we don't have the AP. And this guy isn't coming after us. I think, I think I go for that. Uh, yes, no, the, the corpse strategy has not been nerfed. Uh, we are we are doing a challenge run that was submitted by uh, Sam in the Discord. You can you can see that in the lower left corner. We are uh, we are intentionally causing ourselves grievous pain because sometimes that's just what you do. Apparently. I think we need to move over here and get ready for this guy to walk in. Wish I could have made it a little further on this guy, but... This is the way to play? Yeah, it feels super easy, Sam. This, this I mean, like, never, never have I had such an easy time with a run. Cough, cough. We can't do anything there. Uh, you do have leap over, so we can at least boop and boop. Well, that does get us in range. All right. Can't say I didn't try. I'm glad you're enjoying your time. Oh, so very much, Sam. I don't think we kill these hoppers. There's no way. Yeah, I tried to save us from the uh, from the the C rank, but couldn't uh, couldn't quite keep it keep it off. And getting poisoned is super annoying, and losing walls is annoying. So many annoying things. Sam Sam apparently learned his lesson from last time. I appreciate it, Sam. Cheers. The kindness is, uh, is extremely appreciated. So now I'm going to run this hero over this way, so that hopefully we can get some AP pots in before... Uh, Before things are all all but said and done, and then I think okay. 
With that last that last enemy coming in, the least we can do is get some heals on our uh, on our our friend out here. Not not the result that I wanted, obviously, but our economy is starting to get going. So if we can hang on another night or two, we'll potentially be okay. The That particular one makes me just a little nervous seeing that banner. A mana crystal is insane right now. I think we need a little bit of durability from our pants, so I'm gonna go with that. This elite corpse is is painful to look at. I don't think anyone's coming around this far, so I'll do that, and then I am going to repair very specifically the sides that I think we need the most. Because I, I would like to do some more wood walls. This side is looking relatively good. This side... If we can get a couple of these better, I think we're good. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Noelle is definitely getting this. Uh, I think we can't do... We can't afford double AP down. Actually, maybe we can. Maybe we can just go crazy with it. Uthrid needs some pants. So let's see, Uthrid is picking up Bully for sure. That's, this is gonna, that's a big power spike for Uthrid. Uh, the opportunism, the base opportunism to get going is very good. And then solve our accuracy problem, probably for the best. Then over here, I think Epidemic is the better first pickup. I'm still I'm still undecided. We may we may end up going double dagger now, so I think I'm gonna take epidemic and we'll we'll come back to whether we're gonna do volatile or not. Don't need a bigger mana pool anymore. More action points. That's that's a good that's a good alternative. Now you I think we take crit master first. Because we, we haven't even found the, the equipment that we need to make you pop off. We did get two skill range. You know, I don't we could use a little more accuracy potentially, but let's let's roll here. Prop bounces is huge. I'll take the accuracy. This is the, the pain of, of dexterity, but What are we gonna do? Okay, so now all of our gold mines have been upgraded, at least to, to gold levels. So that means that every upgrade we can do here is a net positive, but we do, I think, wanna push back the fog. So let's, let's do that. And then I wanna get back up to six workers. But we'll, we'll start, we'll go a little slow. So each of them, we can do one more and they, they will be break-evens. So we'll do that, we'll do that, and we'll do that. And then this, 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 was basically all break-evens and we just got a lot of value. Now, you have a mana crystal, so you don't need mana anymore. You seem to need mana, so we'll do that. And we have one worker left. How did I do that? Eh, who knows? Doesn't really matter. Help jeweler or help armor? Let's do... Uh, we should probably start doing item level. Yeah, we'll, we'll do item level. We got to get those upgrades going sooner rather than later. I'd love to get a gauntlet going here. Yeah, item level greater than quantity, yes. True and also a thing that we are doing. Ooh, this rusty shield is exceptionally good. 
Oh, we do have a gauntlet available. Let's get the gauntlet because I want to get that online. The the bow did did good work for us. How much was that shield? The shield was relatively cheap. 22? That's not cheap enough. We're, we're still on like a bare bones crew. We do have one more worker. But... I'm a little worried that I left the side open. But you, you can solo a side no problem. And then you two are going to struggle on this side, I think. All right. We did push back the fog, so we have we have a little bit of breathing room. But this this hero is going to need to do some mana stuff like right off the cuff. So let's see. This is probably a decently safe place to stand in this. Oops. Let me think. Yeah, I want you over and maybe you over here and you over here. All right, nothing to do with this last worker, though. Feels a little bad. Well, I guess, wait, we can do this, right? We could either increase max mana or eight mana to all heroes. Eight mana to all heroes is good. So not completely a waste. Hey, LA Spartan. Uh, the end of yesterday's stream, worth a, worth a watch, I will say. Uh... I, I will refrain from spoiling, but it was uh, it was a heck of a run. All right, into night five of our no corpses. Uh, I wouldn't I don't know if I would call this playing traditionally or what I would call this, but I am instantly terrified by the number of boomers that just arrived on the screen. Um, oh man, this is just horrifying. That's not a kill. That didn't get the kill? Oh, man. I don't really want to spend another movement doing this. Maybe I need to. We may be, we may be toming some of our... Uh, toming some of these boomers and then egging them into... Uh, into attacking. Save that for next turn. Now this side should be relatively easy. Let's get our let's get our mana filled up. Unless you're spoiled, spoiled the excitement. Uh, but yes, the it was indeed we were one turn from from winning and one hit from losing. It was uh, it was truly one of the most intense uh, intense runs I have ever had. It was uh, it was worth the price of admission. Oh, I spent Geo Reservoir there. Damn. That's unfortunate. We got so many problems over here. These these guys are going to be so problematic also. Um, yeesh. These two we can probably ignore safely. You, what are you? 
You're a mage? I don't love ignoring a mage. Well, unless those buffs are a threat, <laughs> right? That would be the one. So what I'm thinking about right now is if we could kill the boomer, maybe we could establish a place here. I'm just worried about getting stunned. We're, we're sandwiched between two mages right now. I guess, I guess we come over to here regardless of what we're going to do. Just because this is a safer place to be. Um... Did I just get myself stunned? No, I think we are safe here. Okay. Unless it is a tome ghost. It is a wand ghost. God, a runner gets through my armor on this hero? That's terrifying. Sarah, you are uh, you are a sad, sad sack of potatoes. I mean, those buffs don't seem entirely ignorable, but... Congratulations, Sam! Well done. Hold on, if we move to here... Thought is that the Geo Reservoir might be helpful here. Relatively safe, I think. Famous last words, all right. Hopefully safe. Now, this hero did go a little hard for how little health they have. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us. I see that dealing damage is not your not your strength, Noella. I understand. I don't really want to put myself in a position where I can't. I think this side I can take on kind of passively and also potentially help out on this side some. Please don't, please don't die, Sarah, all right? That would be ideal. Oh my God, two enemies hitting her just did half her health. Okay, we gotta be, we gotta be mindful of what's going on here. I'm also doing the no armor challenge, by the way, by accident, Sam. I guess by accident is a little strong to describe to describe what's going on here.
Oh my god, you can't get over the friggin... I, I, I assumed we could jump over that, and then all of a sudden we couldn't. That was, uh, that was terror-inducing. I'm going to put myself here literally to protect Sarah here. Um, not, not the position I want to be in. Definitely going to need... some help here. Uh, trying to figure out if there's an easy way to kill this guy. It's probably got to be daggers. And then since we're over here, now we can bees some more. We absolutely need to get this hero over to the other side. I wish their skill range was a little better. This is a uh, this is a spicy this is a spicy night, and these ghosts are giving me heartburn. I'm trying not to get hit. This, this night's going to be going on for a minute, I can already tell. This is not... Okay, so you... So if you if you leave the fray, I think you need to. With five movement, yeah, you're not going to be... This guy's blocking my vision too, which is hilarious. Okay, let's get our mana back up. Because this hero is going to start pulling some serious double duty over here on the left. I'm pretty sure. And then I also need to make sure that we're not going to get stunned by these melee heroes. into here, so... I guess we'll do that. I mean, you keep you keep saying that that ignoring the ghosts is this great strat. I I just want to say I don't feel it even a little. <laughs> no uh no no slight to anyone who says it, but I don't I don't understand the uh I don't understand the vision. I I am ignoring them right now out of mostly necessity, but it does not feel good. So, so in Lustrous, explain it to me then, right? Like, it works for you and others, so what's the, what's the difference? 
I mean, granted, I am doing a challenge run, obviously, but... There, there are some, there are some confounding factors here for sure, but Secret sauce is so I have never found laziness to be a particularly powerful tool in my uh, in my arsenal, but maybe maybe that is the key. Getting out of this corner thanks to that was just absolute pain. As a side note. Hit my own walls at this point. That's about the only thing that hero is going to be any good for. I was a little worried about stuff coming around this way. Oh. So, let's see. so you're going to do... Hopefully. Well, that did not that did not get us to where I wanted to get to. Okay, that's not and that's not gonna help either. I guess you do this. I guess oh I haven't killed anyone yet. So hooray for, for opportunist. Our, our underwhelming damage is uh, is doing great work at the moment. Can't reach the sky. I don't think there's a way I can get there better either. Oh, we have a raid! Sir Knight, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. How five raiders, welcome all of you. Cheers. Uh, let me do uh, let me do a little Where's that? Where's the shout out button? I always I always forget where this is. Shout out. I have to copy your name. Nope, that's Sam. Cheers, thank you. I will do my best. I will. I will endeavor not to uh, not do your not to do you poorly. We're uh, we've got an interesting run on our hands, to say the least. Uh, I would not necessarily call it good, but it is happening. It is happening. Now I need to be a little careful that I don't get too lost in the sauce here. He got it the first time! Miracles never cease, right? Miracles never cease. Jump back in, kind of loop around like this, and then your job is to zap this guy, and then zap this guy. Send this, send this stun around. Teamwork makes the dream work, indeed. But yeah, thank you, uh, thank you for the raid again. Look at that. We'll have Geo Reservoir for next time. Ooh. 
No, my favorite barricade has been defeated. This this whole idea of building walls this far out. Like who whose plan was that? Who who thought that was a good idea? Take a step back. Can I zap this guy potentially? Not for enough, though. All right. Well, we'll get this guy. We're gonna come around this way and try to get some work done. Yes, that is a uh, propagation crit. AKA uh, a build that was submitted by Zero J and a few others called Prop Me Critly. Are we gonna be able to get out if we do this? I guess we'll find out. Maybe we don't want to get out. If we go here, we probably get stunned. Maybe we don't. I mean, because we can do this. And then run away. Run away! Okay. Okay. I mean, I love what it's doing. Uh, it is it is clearly, uh, it's not for everyone, but yeah, I, I've been really enjoying it. I think there might be a minor bug that's causing a few builds not to show up, but I will, uh, I'll figure that out in the future. Let's see, so if we do this, then we can do like one, one, two, one, one, one. And then we can do like one, two, one, 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 one. All right, we did kill something, so our our initiator our initiator fun has ended. But we're doing all right there. The uh, the baddies are really like inside our base. Is the way that I would describe it, especially the uh, the ghosts. Um, I recognize I can't kill this ghost. I'm just trying to trying to get a little bit of work in. So instead of moving there, maybe what I do is I do this. So I can walk to here. Zap these guys and go around. Can't get out of the way. That stinks. I guess this guy has to run straight through, and they'll probably end up chewing on the walls. Uh, and then, do you have movement left? You don't. Okay. I, the ghost. Ooh. The watchtower is gone. Yeah, the watchtower is gone. Uh, okay, this I think this has to be the turn where we get all the kills because this guy is getting a little, a little spicy with it. Excuse me. This may be, it may be hard for us to get all the kills that we need to get here. 
Yes, the boomer boomed, which is fine. I'm going to have a hard time getting all the kills. Especially with this guy not being able to get around the corner. Ooh, yeah. Okay, we're... Yikes. This is actually... This is pretty not great. Oh, and this guy's blocking our, our line of sight there. Are you... Because you can't do anything right now. Because you can't see around the corner. We weren't going to get these two down here anyways. Um, hmm. So we can... Unlike normal enemies, they don't stick to building as actively. Unfortunately, third eye is essential. Wait, did I just shoot my own gold mine there? I thought this guy was on the friggin' intersection. Damn it. If I lose that gold mine, I'm gonna be pissed. It's my own damn fault, though. I, I would not say that third eye is essential. It's nice to have. But not uh I would not call it essential. Um Oh boy. Alright, well let's let's see what happens here. Dear Uthrid, thank you for surviving. Oh, I can't do that if I move. Okay, so I move to here, and I do one, two, one, one, three. Doesn't matter where I put the last one. So the issue is these two guys down here, honestly. Um, you don't have enough movement to get there, do you? Not even close. Ooh. I need this hero to survive. There's no way they're surviving, I don't think. A seven block and 124. It's going to be... I just need to bait on this hero, I think, and hope that they don't target this hero. If they still destroy my gold mine... I tell you what. Oof. Oh my gosh. This is hilarious. I doubt I have what it takes. Oh, I'm one movement short. Amazing. Uh, is there any way that I can use leap over? You have jump over. Wait. I can't jump over my own heroes? I always forget this. Um... This is very bad. Um, the fact that I'm one tile short is like laughably amazing. I, I forgot I was gonna get stunned here and I'm gonna get killed next turn here. Um, oh boy. And they're three tiles away, so even if I proc that. And I can't jump over buildings. They're gonna die, Sam. This hero took over half their health this last turn when they got stunned. 
Um, the fact that you can't jump over buildings is so dumb. I just want to say. Get on the watch. What the heck is getting on the watchtower going to do? You're you're all over the place, Sam, and, and <laughs> it's not a good suggestion. <laughs> um, I'm not worried about this hero dying. I need to finish this turn. The watchtower doesn't increase range. That's not a thing that it does. It gives vision. No, the dud. So if I can... If I could... If I had one more tile, I could stunning entrance this guy and then kill the other one. And then it's over. There's no other enemies on the, on the board. There's just these two. So I need to figure out... Yeah. Climb up to get a bird's eye view. Grants vision to the hero. Adjacent heroes can enter a watchtower for two movement. That's all it does. Um, so let's see. So if I walk you to here, you only have two movement left when I jump over like this. I don't, I don't think there is any movement solution here. This hero can't do anything. I, I, like, there was a question of if I could proc. Oh, man. Let's see. We use our health potion, so that's gone. We don't have Geo Reservoir. This may lose us the game. here and we are one tile short killing our own obstacle doesn't make anything work um i can't jump over i can't jump over my own people so if i and if i move to here i'm moving one tile out of the way which means that the jump over is no longer useful i can move to here but then the jump then i don't have the movement for jump over You get stunning entrance, uh, targeting a hero to move the other one close enough to kill. Uh, no, stunning entrance on a hero does not follow, and I, I, I don't think I can do that. Like this? Yeah, I, I literally can't stunning entrance there. Um... I feel like there has to be an answer here. If you destroy the tower and jump will it work no because i'm still i'm so okay so if i do if i do this i still have to move one tile in the wrong direction so then i get back the jump tile so okay so i i destroy this i go down to five i jump over four three then two one zero i get to the same tile This is insane. I literally don't think there's any way for me to make the last the last spot. Hmm. If they were a dwarf, this would be easy. And you're one tile off. It is a dilly of a pickle, for sure. 
I really, so the main issue that I'm frustrated by right now is I feel like if you destroy an obstacle with follow, you should go to that location. Uh, I do. Well, let's let's take one last look here before we before we resign ourselves to our fate. Our fate being, I think, two of our heroes dying. Why don't I try to run away with the characters? So this character is stunned, Sam. So I can't run away with them. I can run away with the other two, but then I'm screwed. Right? Like, none of neither of these heroes can take the abuse, and I need to get to the other side, and I already have this guy here. I don't, like, it's not like I'm waiting for poison to tick on these guys. I thought the poison was going to kill them, but... Um, I think I'm going to have to move to here. The movement ranges on the warriors are that. This warrior is just going to stay here and kill Noella. I think that's that's relatively for sure. I think I need to move to here. I need to armor up. The dud, the, the dud, no. Um, and then you... I think I run you over here and we try and go through next time. But if, if Uthrid dies... Well, we got to think about this. If I... I guess I have to move to here. Because otherwise we lose next turn. No, you cannot debuff the ghosts. All right, I think this is the best we can do. Anybody want a temple? We, we knew we were greeting early game when we picked up all those XP. But the the fact that the uh the fact that the the hammer brother decided not to attack uh because the the hero was stunned was vaguely hilarious. Um but we got we have a the next thing that we have to deal with is we have a big difficulty spike around night number 6. <laughs> Things start getting bad, and uh, we don't have walls, per se. All right, so let's see. So, workers. I do think we need to build a temple. Call me, uh... Call me crazy. But... God, that doesn't heal very much, does it? <laughs> it's good. It's good enough to get us back on our feet, but that was a that was a necessary purchase. Okay, now another hero feels really tough to to swallow. I don't think I don't think I can do another hero right now. And I know that that may feel a little a little crazy to say, but I hate that. I don't think we want volatile here cuz I think I'm going to be getting rid of the druid staff if everything goes according to plan. I'm not going to be taking a ton of skill range on this hero, so I'm actually, I think, going to take the rare field study here. You, on the other hand, you need volatile. You need to start doing some freaking damage, I will say. Flexibility is a good pickup. I do think just raw damage is important right now. Take the crit power. We may get a bit of crit going. 
Uh, lawn mower, another anomaly. Let's see if that works. Don't think I want that. This this helm is is potentially okay. Did that command not work? What the heck? Oh, there it goes. That's uh that's the build, another anomaly. It worked. It was just a little slow. Twenty-five percent less prop and crit power and more mana, or health regen, healing received. I'll go. I'll go with this cape for Noella. Said I wanted another dagger. I'm just gonna buy this. We'll, we'll probably get another hero. I think we we pretty desperately need one. Um, this should have been a turn where we were getting a lot more value. What is going on, Noella? So you're going to have two daggers. And, and we need to swap these so that hopefully your good dagger is on top. I don't think with buying in, with, excuse me, with buying an in, we will be getting, uh, another hero this turn. Seems expensive. I need to repair this gold mine. Can't can't afford to lose it. Uh, this is this is tough. Can you tell me your reasoning why you why did you go for armor jeweler instead of bower magic shop? Because the we're we need weapons of all types, and all heroes need armor, and all heroes need jewelry. Not all heroes need a ranged weapon or whatever it happens to be. That's the that's the thinking. Um, yeah, we're not getting another hero on this night. It's just, it's not happening. Our gear is our gear is too bad right now. I need to I need to gear up our heroes. You just need to be a little more durable or you're going to die. So we got double daggers with a mana crystal there. That's going to be that's going to be good for business. And then I think I need to get more production buildings going. We gotta, we gotta build them because they've gotta be here. Uh, I will do, I will do one of each type, but I, I certainly didn't want them to be my first ones. The scavenger camp is super in the way. I don't really want to put anything over there. Good gravy! You need a huge, huge something or other to make that happen. All right, let's see. We can do. Restore mana. We can give mana as a gift to someone. Uh, oh, I should have looked at the, the seer. We absolutely should have pushed back. I don't think there's any way we can do it now. That was a huge mistake. I should have been looking at my last people and been like, how do we push back? Um, all right. Do we have, a, we have a health pot in here that I can potentially eke out, maybe? I'd rather have the health pot than that. I think we may die on this night. 
kind of kind of feeling like that may be the way that it goes down i am going to put i'm going to put warp gates Because I also think we may need some reinforcements. So let's see. You are by far the weakest. You're going to go over here. And then you're going to go over here. And you're going to go over here. And for some reason, I have this misguided belief that... Uh, oh, we can, uh, we can do one, one weapon or something. One trinket? Let's do a trinket. With our last two workers. Twenty-five poison. Doesn't doesn't really work for us. The prop bounces are kinda nice, but Okay. Another mana crystal is is big. We're just we're gonna spam our faces off here. I think that actually makes you stronger. Uh, you're pretty strong, though, actually. Okay. I think all our heroes are decently strong now. I think the ghosts are our biggest threat. That is that is my genuine feeling right now. Okay. Was that a mana crystal with two bounces? Wow. Yeah, not bad. Okay, this is night number six. We are uh, We're feeling the burn. Oh, man, that's a lot of ghosts over there. Skill range hurts a little bit here. This this being a split side also sucks, but this being a unified side is probably for the best. That's an unpleasant amount of block that they are uh, they are currently rocking. Okay, so do I do do I go deep to get kills here? I think I do. So one, two, three. One, two. So we should kill this guy because of the stun. Okay, and then we do this this side's gonna gonna stink a lot. Yeah, my, my biggest concern right now is uh probably this side here. I don't know. This this corner here is is kinda kinda foobar too though. Yeah, the Guardians are going to be really hard. Hello, Tome friend. 30. So this is most of my most of my stuff, but I can do... I can do that before I come across. Okay. 
And then I do need to stop just the, the onslaught that's happening here, unfortunately. Uh, we're one tile short of this, which is hilarious, I feel like. That, that tracks. This guy's probably going to ruin our whole our whole day, uh, if I'm being honest. This guy is also going to be a problem because... So his range is three. So if he walks to here, if we're standing here, he is out of range. One, two, three. Okay. Yep. Okay. This sucks. The corpse piles are going to do a little bit of work, but we don't we don't have enough range uh, on this hero. I'm realizing to do what we need to do. Oh, this is looking awful. How did that dead end there? That sucked. All right. Well. Still don't have the range to get there on this guy. Hilarious. I think we're dead. This map can be a very, very punishing for sure. Uh, crazy waffles. And I think we are about to get punished by it. I don't think we have nearly what it takes to uh, to survive this one. Cause like I can get over here, but then I'm absolutely getting shmammered by this dude. gets you. Jeez. I think for us to get in on this side... I think Runenberg helped out a lot with that crazy waffles. But, uh, but yeah. It, it is still, it is still a very tough map. Alright, I think I have to I have to eat this. There's no way around this guy, I don't think. Because one, two, three. Or one, two, three, yeah. I need to get I need to get work going on this guy. That that propagate could not have gone worse. As a side note, that was uh, that was pretty vicious. Yeah, Sam, I, I feel like 
you haven't explained why you think that strategy is better. I think that's part of the problem. Like, I, I know you're saying that, but like, there's there's been some like numbers presented that I think logically explain why that probably isn't the right course of action. And I haven't like, I, I don't think just getting weapons is better necessarily satisfies the the need so i'm i'm looking for i'm looking for a little more of a reason we are so freaking in trouble here so much poison stacked up i think I am very aware that there's a bat inside my base in Lustrous. I, uh, I don't see a lot of ways to help out with that because my skill range is so horrifically awful right now. Hear me out. Bower Magic Shop will give you level one weapons right away. Then it's a bit greedy, but you don't build other buildings, and you get all the money you can to keep upgrading the buildings. I, I, I think you grossly overestimate how valuable having like a few level one weapons is going to be. To be honest. Like, it, it doesn't, that doesn't strike me as, like, like, weapons are not our problem right now, I think is, is the issue, Sam. Like, I, I don't think we're losing because we don't have certain weapons or something like that. Uh, we are, like, in fact, I think we did quite a good job getting quite a few production buildings quite quickly. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, always uh, proof is in the pudding, for sure. Let's see. But this one, this one we're going to get, we're going to get ruined on, I think. And the poison, I think the poison may be the thing that kills us. Um, the buildings are, the, the, the corpse explosions are doing a little bit of work, but... We're out of mana too, that's not great, because that reduces our movement. Which, in turn, means that we can't get over here. So we need to we need to loop back on this side. Oof. Okay, that's going to be bad. Let's see. Please don't dead end in this guy immediately. Thank you. This guy have a backstab that just does oh unbelievable damage. Okay. It's probably not gonna be great for us then either. These bats are getting to our uh getting to our base. I don't think there's any way I can stop them. The poison is literally going to kill us, though. Oh, boy. All 
Oh, I just moved this guy here and then that was a mistake. All right, well. That looks fatal. Yes, that is indeed fatal. Hey, thank you, Black Snow. Yep. All right, that's that. You're you're terrible at. You're good at killing all these bats, but you're not great at killing. A little bit of skill range on this hero would have made a big difference. I'm not gonna lie. Do we get to this bat? We can technically get to this bat. Okay, the contagion spread there was a big bummer. The base is the base is gonna fall. I think we will probably lose, but the corpses uh, the corpses have done good work. Wow! Did not expect to see that one happen. One hero left. Can they do it? Sure. Why not? The corpses are doing great work. <laughs> no, we're. We're we're boned. This is good. Well, uh, the the new game of the channel is uh, is dungeon crawler, anyways. So we'll get a nice long dungeon crawler stream. The dream is real. The hunters are, are rocking us big time. Yeah, I mean, this is production strats are tough to make to make work as a general principle, uh, and this is uh, this is a good showcase of that, if nothing else. I don't think there's. I don't think there's value right now in me spending too much time going in on the on the last spell to try and protect it. Like I I think that it's I mean I guess if we don't die, maybe that's good for business. Like our hero that is. Okay, does the hero die? Does the spell die? Look at all those guardians. Whew. All right, GG's. Sam, you've played no corpses production strats for a very long time. I'm surprised to hear it. All right, well... It was a it was a solid uh, a solid half attempt. What can I say? We uh, we tried, and uh, and we we did not succeed. You can't you can't win them all. This was a difficult challenge. I think we knew that going in. Uh, well, then perhaps you'll have to uh, you'll have to show us how it's done, Sam, because uh, I don't uh, the 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 noblistas. Uh, production heavy thing i mean we did we did greed omens pretty hard uh and our heroes were not the best but 
But uh, yeah, we uh, we I guess we won't be doing part two of this challenge tomorrow. I mean, I I don't know Black Snow. I I played uh, I played corpses pretty early on. I feel like, uh, but. But yeah, I, I feel kind of I feel kind of sad. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see how the uh, how things progress. Like it that felt like a sad loss to be sure. Uh, and we may need to go back to some regular runs just so I can get a bit of a palate cleanse. The uh, the challenge runs have been fun, but they've been a little oppressive. Uh, so uh, so I think that's gonna be it for this one. I mean, mines and camp, mines and camps are very good, to be sure. Uh, I I still think like all of the evidence points to the fact that production strats are hard to pull off. There's there's a lot of like very kind of like nuanced bits and pieces, but I really, I really really think that the. Uh, like going hard product like i mean we went very hard production obviously like i decided to greed this pretty aggressively uh, i think with corpse piles we would have been wildly better off um you know you're leaving like by night six you're probably leaving like a substantial amount of gold on the table um but uh but yeah Yeah, Black Snow. That's a that's a pretty common that's a pretty common build, I think. Uh, I generally like to go heavier into armor and jeweler, just because I don't think that specific weapon ones are that great, and I feel like you get more value out of uh, out of the the production buildings that can do more. But uh, 